Then, as a couple have commented, how do I know that these two are in the same plane? Um, and then there are several ways to measure this. One way would, of course, be to, to prop up and level um, the ways to this plate here and measure as if it was down there or to the plate. And, or the opposite, turn this around and have these as reference. The, uh, really non-contact ways here. And to begin with you can also then use one surface and then match up all the others uh, to that so that you are uh, absolutely certain. Uh, or you could of course mic it down from these if they were used as reference or useful as references or even with an indicator I think the easiest is to use uh, the saddle here. Just to put the saddle on top here and then glue it up and measure that they are equal. As you would want to do in the end anyway, namely glue up here because this is of course the saddle uh, tested to the plate, which shall be anyway. You see, just this way. And then test this directly and then of course you can run a, a, a level here to test also the, the parallelism by having a, the level on top here and then run the, the saddle up and down like this. And you can see here from the test uh, degree of um, um, that it follows. I would suspect some um, deviation anyway, so I'll have to correct that. And the, my take is that I do this lengthwise and then afterwards correct if there is a slight deviation this way with this method. And this, of course, being tested to the plate like this, so we know that's dead flat and both are, are equal. I also forgot uh, how I test, or rather prepare for the test of uh, the column when it is standing by itself. And then uh, the sideways tilt, uh, namely to have some sort of reference for that also. And uh, to do that, I, of course, use these or not of course but I can use this there are small ridges here which you can run the indicator to in in this case uh, to the uh, dovetail here so that you know that these are parallel